to you is be bold. Don't be frightened. Do you know, back in the day, my husband and I were the first in our social circle to go fully unisex. Oh yes, such jolly drapes we had, yes. Although, it was universally admitted that he couldn't quite pull off a pinafore dress with the same aplomb as oneself. He didn't have the length of bone, to be brutally frank. Although I will be the first to admit, I was rather taken aback when he came home with a pair of fortunate panties. <clears throat> But they turned out to be an absolute godsend because they were the perfect thing for keeping one's rollers in place without flattening one's fringe. It all comes down to taste, you see? If one has taste, one can pull absolutely anything off. Now, I can pick up a kick pleat here, a bolero there, I can even throw in the odd pussycat bow, and one can still turn heads wherever one goes. And it needn't be expensive. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember the time my husband and I went to Chooksbury on the tandem for our Shakespeare review. And you know, we got on like a house on fire once I realized one had to paddle also. <laughs> yes. Yeah, anyway, we got absolutely soaked in the rain. The clothes were wet through and I made us a lovely costume out of nothing but the saddlebags and a road safety poster. Now, ladies, I want you to think outside the box. I want you to look around you. See what's available to you. Make, do, and mend. Remember, one woman's antimacassars is another woman's lace hot pants.